<laughs> that was a big cozy pile of pigs I just woke up. Sorry guys. Good morning. I really found a nice dry spot against that tree to sleep. So cozy. All right, I'll get you your food since I woke you up. All right, we're gonna harvest some oyster mushrooms today. These are probably a little bit past when we should have grabbed them, but just, we've been super busy. You want me to do it, sweetheart, or you got it? Nice, so let's see. Pretty gills. It's a lot of mushroom. I know. Here's our bowl. We're thinking we'll make some mushrooms and eggs or something in a second. Mm -hmm. The kids are at school. We'll have to eat it without them for their own safety as a first check. <laughs> Sorry, kids. First. Yeah, like the stem is part of the so wood. It grows into the moss. Yeah. So I'll just cut that part off. All right, Tina. We were just reviewing these mushrooms. Mushroom review. What do you think? We think compared to the wine caps, which we've been able to taste this year, they're less slimy. Yes. More meaty. So these oysters are a little more meaty, a little less slimy, more mild, less of a umame. Yeah mushroom flavor more of a smooth meaty flavor and I really like it yeah I like the texture a lot and they I think we, we put a little butter and it kind of just took on the flavor of the butter mm -hmm. baby you want to try one baby gets an oyster mushroom here we go what do you think eat, eat your food <laughs> baby eat your food That's her reaction at the beginning of every meal. <laughs> what do you think of it? So what you find out is if she wants the next bite is when you know if she really liked it. Oh, yes. Do you want true. more? More to eat. More? Yep. Baby likes it. Baby likes it because she wanted the next bite. Yummy. Oh, Ooh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> We're delivering pumpkins to pigs. Arya, come get your big jack-o'-lantern. Wait, James, show the... Arya made a kitty jack-o'-lantern. James, what did you make, bud? A cool face? Yeah. All right. That kind of helps. Oh, that is a big, slow mama right there. She is going to have a big... Yeah, pig. Okay, go. Boom! Woohoo! Yummy, yummy, yummy.
Let's show everybody what a pig foot looks like. It's a really like soft, fleshy pad, plus it's the, like soft. the nails. Yeah. Kay. Buttercup went off on her own over there. Really, her behavior has changed. We think she's in labor. This would be really fun to see it if we were able to see her deliver. She might. She's using her front leg. That is nesting behavior. Look at that. How cool is that? Isn't Hopefully, that I. Cool? Hopefully I can get close and see. Like she is making a nest to have babies. You're okay, good girl. We won't we won't bother you. She's laid down now. Really want to try to find a way to get a good look without disturbing her. Good piggy. Good pig. Let's see if Big Red gets ran off. What do you think, big boy? You've been eating a lot of pumpkin, huh? Man, Big Red is almost as big as Rose. Look at that. You are a big piglet. He is the biggest piglet. Here comes Santa with the white face. So there's normal pig behavior, walking around, looking for stuff to eat. And then there's a mama about to have a baby. There's Big Red again. Hi, handsome boy. Oh, hi, sweetie. Your little underbite. She has turned into a submarine underneath that pile. It's a big moving pile. after dark and it started to rain, which probably means it's a perfect time for the piglets to have arrived. Let's go look. Hi, big mama. Did the babies come out yet? Do you have any babies with you? Any babies yet? No babies. No babies yet. You really kind of flattened it out. You're a good pig. You're a good pig. Well, I guess there's going to be piglets in the morning. Alright, the sun is coming up the next morning. Let's see how our girl's doing. I really hope everything's okay over here. Oh, there she is with babies. Hi, good girl. You did it. You did it, good girl. Little tiny piglets. One, two, three, four, five, six piglets. Six piglets, big girl. You did it. Little squeaky piglets. You did it. All right, it's mid-morning. The other pigs want food. She's, my first impression is she's not doing a good job of laying down far enough on her side for them. But let's feed everybody and then see. Oh, there she goes. That's better. Now they can get at her. Okay, we fed the pigs so they're not being so noisy. Mama got up to eat and the babies are in a pile right here. Oh, it's seven piglets. Yeah, that's seven. One, two, three, four, is it? Am I bad at counting? No, that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy. We just doubled how many piglets we've got with another pregnant belly. They're so tiny. They're so tiny and cute. They're so tiny. Stay together, stay warm. Mama will be back. Yeah, they are cold right there. I'm not completely pleased with the way this nest is. You probably can't tell on the camera, but it's really quite a slope from the base of that tree down to the little pile of piggies. So that's not ideal. But they should be okay. Maybe I'll help expand the nest a little bit. We've given her some cover over the nest, just a little bit. We need her to come do her job and 
feed those babies milk because that's what they need. And what we might need to do is just get out of the way. Okay, there she's settled on her side. I'm going to stay well away, but she's on her side. Piglets have access to both rows of nipples, so that's what they need to be doing, and I'm going to leave her alone. And that's Princess walking by, the biggest pig, and the last one left to have babies. Beautiful. And... The pond is above the standpipe. We're helping rain proof the nest a little more. Those ones are a little scraggly, huh? All right. What do you think, Rose? That's it, Rose. Hi, baby. Almost laid down, and now she has to kind of just work her way onto her side. <laughs> Piglets are looking for boobies. And so them pressing on her should kind of give her the instinct. Oh, Arya, are you picking him up to move him? I'm touching his nose. <laughs> Mama wasn't so sure about that, are you? Okay. All right. Exciting day with new piglets born. Seven baby piglets, and we just checked it's four baby boys and three baby girls. Mm -hmm. So, about the boar meat and slaughter and everything. Slaughter went fine. My friend Steven, who's um, a deer hunter, came and helped me and everything went fine. They didn't feel a thing. Mm -hmm. And then we, um, we gutted them. We, did, um, we tried to de-hair them. It's called scald and scrape. And that was really slow and we didn't do a really great job of that. So I learned a lot that we could either scald and scrape again next time and be better set up for it, or just skin them instead. If you just skin them, then that means you give up cuts of meat, like a big skin on roast and things like that, but I think we can live without that, so we'll yeah. see. But how's the meat? Unfortunately, there is the, the boar taint is present in it, and the way that manifested was Tina cooked that first roast, and to me... It smelled just like the like boar sour pea smell that <laughs> that I associated with Wayne and Garth out in the pig paddocks. I could smell that when the meat was cooking. And what's weird is I couldn't. It was it's really different. Like different yeah. people experience it in a different way. Yeah, reading about it online, there's a whole spectrum of people that don't notice the boar taint to it's awful and they can't even eat it. I smelled it a little bit, but it didn't bug me that as much as him. Yeah. yeah. So. And it tastes good, but the smell is there while I'm eating it. And um, and then we cooked a we on our friend's Traeger. We did a big roast of a whole front quarter, mm -hmm. and it was kind of the same thing. There were multiple families at the party, and some people smelled it or tasted it, and some didn't. Um, so yeah, it was good quality meat, and we learned a lot with the slaughtering and butchering process, but. The, the boar taint thing is definitely a real thing. And reading reading more about it, it's a, it's a hormonal thing. They're making these extra hormones to try to smell musky and kind of gross. But that's what the, pig, the, the girls get excited about at breeding time, I guess, is that smell. But then it those hormones flowing through their body gets deposited in their fat. And you can't really separate that out. Even if you cut the large parts of fat off of the pig there's still fat marbled throughout the meat so we'll see we're not just going to throw the meat out we're gonna we're gonna figure out ways to prepare it that we notice that taint less 
And if it hits a point where it's just killing us working with it, it'll be high quality dog food. <laughs> and we've got a whole lot more pigs coming in the pipeline and none of them will be intact males. So it should be a non-issue going forward. Yeah. And so really excited for future pigs, future pig slaughters when the time comes. And that's it. We're just getting piles of rain. The pond is filling up fast filling and it's fast. over the standpipe. And I've been chipping away at working with the excavator on it, but we're getting so much rain, I might just have to stop because we're just making mud. So, don't want to get stuck. So, that's that frustrating, but there's plenty of other stuff to be doing. I wish I could have got to more of this excavation work in the summer, but we're building the deck and doing other stuff in the summer. So, yeah. might just have to wait. <laughs> Goes. But at this rate, I think the pond is going to get so full that we're going to have to use the drain off the back through the winter to keep it from overflowing. So that'll be interesting to watch and then <laughs> kind of form a game plan from there. And that the one wild card thing I could do is either rent or hire somebody with a bulldozer. Maybe a dozer could power through the mud and finish it up. But I, I don't know if we need to do that. I'll have to, I'll be thinking about that. Yep. But that's it for what's going on here. Mm -hmm. We're just we got pig party over here. All the pigs. All the pigs. <laughs> so 2022 is going to be the year of a whole lot of pork. So <laughs> if you want some of this pork, let us know. We're going to have more than we need. We already right. have 18 pigs. It, is so, yeah. it 18 pigs? Yeah. Because 7 so plus four, 7 is 14 plus yeah. 4 mamas. We got a lot Yay. of pigs. <laughs> and Big Princess still has to deliver. She might She's give us gloves. the most. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. There's a piggy Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye, baby. Bye, baby. <laughs> <laughs>